Three. No! I wanted Three. that. That was hit really well. $50. Yeah. This is the one that we're going with. That is on a really good line. All righty, we are all good. We are out here at the junior course today. Garrett, Matt, we are gonna be doing a random golf hole challenge. What's gonna happen? Each player is playing two holes. As soon as the ball's been selected for the hole that you will be going to, that hole's done. We're all teeing off from the exact same tee box for every single hole. Total score wins, and the losing total score is going to be walking up to a random stranger with a balloon with a $50 bill. Yeah, so some random person either at the Legends or wherever we decide to go walk and give a random stranger 50 bucks. Any words, Garrett? Any words, Matt? $50! Yeah. This challenge, I've never heard anything like it. Yeah. Random golf hole challenge. So, yeah, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I was really proud of myself for uh, drawing these numbers on here. They look pretty good. We're gonna, uh, all right, let's do it. Head to the tee right now. We are gonna choose the order. Highest number goes first, lowest number goes last, middle in the middle. Matt, go ahead and choose the ball. Three. Three. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Choose the ball. Six. Oh, Garrett, choose the ball. Four. 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 Good. Me, Garrett, and then Matt. Kind of hold it up. All righty. I am drawn first. Hold number six. I will take that. That is really close to the clubhouse. <laughs> Not very fair. One. I like that. One. It's just That's a normal shot. Normal hole. J just grab one. All five. five. That's easy. That's man. probably the easiest one. I want three so bad. No, I don't want you to have five. it. So let's see what Zach gets here for his second pick. Three. No. I want three. a bad. Two. And two. Two. Two's a hard one. Two is probably the hardest. All right, so I have holes three and six. Matt has holes. One and four. Garrett has holes. It's five and two. Before any of us tee off, we are all gonna be playing from the same tee box right here that I'm standing on. So yeah, some holes are gonna be playing pretty easy and some holes are gonna be playing pretty tough. We're gonna go ahead and head to my first hole, number six. First hold number six right there. I'm gonna show you a graph to show you the exact distance. Here's the whole layout, 109 yards to the pin, all rough up to the green, very short-sighted shot here. All right, I've got four iron punch underneath the tree. Might be a little short, but that was right at the pen. All right, we're walking up to Zach's second shot. You hit that one a little short. Stinger for it right at the pen. Here today. Hit a really good shot. Um, should have a good up and down here. Um, so I'm assuming we're just going to go by like how many strokes you have at the end when you're all done. Stroke play. Really high flop oh, right in the hole. Oh, oh. my. Now he's got a putt for three. Not a bad start. That is right. I thought that was going to the left. That is a four for me on hole number six. We didn't bring a range finder. That, that's kind of the beauty of it today is you're kind of just guesstimating playing a new golf course. Such a fun thing to do. Um, once again, we, we are going to put a graph up. We are going to put a graph up, but I'm not going to know what that graph says. This is a very straightforward shot here for Garrett. 155 yards, really nothing in his way. Thanks to Sunflower for letting us do this. Absolutely. Yes, sir. I literally don't know how far it is. I'm going to hit pitching wedge, but that could be wrong. There's the green right there. Heading just a little right, but does look to be a good number. Landed on the green, didn't it? I swung so hard at that. I think we're a little right of the green. Not the best. What's your game plan on your two holes? Hey, well, hole one. Hole one, I just gotta play hole one. Yeah. Like, I shouldn't stress too much. I'm really looking for a three. Um, we're playing that as a part three, right? Yep. 
Hole one, take it simple, take it calm. Hole four, gonna be a little tricky. Gonna have to carry some trees. But as long as we get a good start on hole one, I think the rest of the plan is just gonna continue to be Matt Eugene Sharp the third and continue to get the job done that way. And the rest will take care of itself. Think about it. There he is. What is Garrett doing back there? This is his hole. Me and Matt are up here on the green. He's like 100 yards back there. All right, guys. We got a chip from about, I don't know, 20 yards to get up and down for a three. Zach's obviously at four right now, one over. If I could make this, this would be clutch. That looks really good. Nice golf shot. Nice Very golf nice golf. touch there, sir. Oh, well done. That's a four on hole five. Me and Garrett are all square through one of the two holes that we're playing. Matt has yet to tee off. We're heading back to the tee for him to play number one right now. Yeah. Matt's hole, little dog leg around those bushes right there. What's our distance here approximately? Garrett. All right, there you go. There's a distance. Uh, it's about that much. Perfect. Yep. A little seven iron. 192 yards here for Matt. Just playing hole number one the normal way, right over the shrubs. Heading a little left. Middle of the green. Up middle of the green. Sit. At least that's what Garrett's saying. I'd probably crush that. So y'all have seen this first tee shot a few times now on the channel. It is kind of a tricky shot because you do really need to hit it further left than it looks, but it's really tough to just hit it out over the middle of that brush. I thought I hit center of the green here, so I might've hit it a little long. At least I don't have to fix a divot. How are we doing? Guys? Seven iron, right? We found it. Body. Get involved. If you want to be this big, you want to look this good and smell like a giant sack of potatoes, then you're going to want to hit the weight room six times a day. All right, there's this ball. There's the green. Very short sided, 45 yards left. Really, shot. very, very good from there. Man, that was really solid, actually. I'm really impressed. Well. What a flop. That was a shot right there, sir. Really good shot. It wasn't a very good lie either. I really had to get under it like Phil with the flop. Go right to left. Yeah, what is Garrett doing out in the middle of the fairway is my question. You never know. Garrett being Garrett. That was in oh. the jaws. Oh, man. That was Those a good roll. Best I've ever had, too. That was solid, sir. Very nice. I'll take All. quattro. Four for me, four for Garrett, four for Matt. All through one hole. We're on to our second hole. Yeah, we're gonna see who's gonna be giving a random stranger a balloon with a $50 bill. Number three, pretty much the same line as number one where Matt just played to, but about 80, 90 yards longer. So I'm gonna be hitting three wood here, full send. The longest hole we will have here today, 292 yards over a lot of trees and bushes. Gonna choose a line and send it. We're using all of Garrett's clubs, so yes, I'm hitting three wood. I never hit three wood. We're gonna see how this turns out. I hit it a little right, but I actually think it could be pretty decent. I don't know, it's probably a little right. Kinda guessing on the line. Really hot out here, really. So walking down one fairway, I think my line was somewhere right there. The green is over those trees about there. Should actually be in pretty decent shape. Thought it was probably about 285, 290 off the tee. So I hit with three wood, that's about the number. I thought I would hit that three wood and we did. Just off the green on the right side. Perfect number, very happy with that. There is the pin, and here's the ball behind Garrett. All right, guys, so the one Zach is playing right now is the longest hole of the day that you can possibly get. I mean, that's almost a par four length. 
and this man just drove it with the three wood. Go, go. Good shot. Well done. Take that for the first par of the day on the longest hole. Well done. That is a par three for me, and my total score is a seven for my two holes. Really excited about that hole. Longest hole of the day. Got our first part of the day. Seven strokes for me for my two holes. All right, guys, we're going to hold two for my ball right here. Here's the deal. I got to go up and around these trees, but I don't know what club to hit. That's my biggest issue here. Garrett has 200 yards. He's going to need to play a little cut over the left side of these trees to get close to that pin. I'm swinging hard. That was hit really well. Right at it. Hopefully you got there. I don't really know though. Maybe. Guess we'll see. Everybody was wondering where you went to, Matt. I was uh, watching the golf bag. Well, who's watching the bag now? Steve. Really? Steve's back there. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. Uh, not bad here, folks. Just a little left of the green. If it went a little more right, it would have been okay. There's this ball. There's the green. Really pretty good play. It's going to be just a little short. I need this really bad. Not good there, folks. Two fours on the day. We need Matt to make a 10. All right, Matt, so is there an advantage to go last to know exactly what you have to do to get the job done? I think so. It's good to know what I need to do, I think. I sure don't want to be long, because I can, I ripped my last one. So. so the pin is right through those two trees right there. Trying to figure out the distance, I will put up the graph to show you rough estimate on the distance and the line. Matt needs to send this one high, land it soft. Those trees are just short of that green. Not an easy shot here, 197 yards. However, here in the moment, we don't really know the distance. What number are you thinking? 185? 185, I still got eight iron in hand, so. That'd be a pretty good number according to where you hit the seven iron, which exactly. would have been about 10 yards long, minus 10 equals the. Equals the job done. That is on a really good line. Maybe just a little right. I think that distance is pretty good. I don't know that I need a lob wedge, but I'm gonna bring one just in case. I mean, I'm guessing it's at least 185 yards. I don't know how many people can do that. I'm just uh, a beast. Two cameras, one there, one there. We're getting the job done that way. We're gonna get up here, it's gonna be the middle of the green. I'm gonna two putt, we're gonna win. Garrett's gonna have to go do the balloon challenge. I hit the ball a long ways. We're thinking the ball is over the green. That'd be insane. We're not seeing it anywhere on the green. The line was kind of somewhere in here is what we were thinking. Wow, we found it. That well, was an incredible was technically shot. Long, so. Technically is long. That was a Look long eight at. iron. Honestly, a little nervous because I know I gotta, I gotta go up and down in order to beat Garrett. Um, am I allowed to clean my ball? Probably not. Probably not. I think if you lose today, it's, a, it's fun. It's good because you're giving someone else a nice prize, a random person. So even if I do lose, even if he does get up and down, I'll be happy. That's gonna need to go. Hock it in, mate. Thanks, man. You're welcome, mate. I guess there's two losers, which means Matt and I have to give the balloon. That is it. I finished at a total of seven strokes. These two finished at a total of eight strokes. That was a lot of fun. Got to play these holes in a very different way than I've ever played them. I don't know about y'all. These two are gonna have to both go and give a random stranger a balloon with $50. There's people buying my clubs right now. Head over there and scoop up those clubs. We're gonna see y'all when we go get the balloon here. Looking forward to this. I do not condone gambling, so I am covering this. So no matter who lost this challenge, I was going to be covering the $50 and the purchase of the balloon to give to the random stranger and tell them they're awesome. 
Hopefully that makes their day heading into Dollar Tree right now. Why, thank you, sir. This is the one that we're going with. You're so special right there. Got the balloon paying right now. Thank you very much. You thank you. I think it's gonna be fun. You're spectacular. Hand it off. I think it's gonna be pretty fun. So we drove around and after a little while found out that there's no $50 bills to be had here in Kansas City. So we're gonna go with two 20s and a 10. Go give it to a random stranger. We're here at the Legends. You're awesome. Exactly. You are awesome. You are awesome. Good. Guys, it's gonna make someone's day and that's what it's all about here today. What's up, fellas? How we doing? You guys have been randomly selected today. $50. 50 bucks. 50 bucks for random. You guys have a nice day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for, real, for real, for real. Yeah. Is it a joke? No, this it's not a joke. joke. Yeah, 50 bucks for you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. We're just we walking just... around, just picking random people, giving picking them Picking random people bucks. and giving them 50 bucks. We appreciate it, you guys. guys yeah. take it easy. Have a good, have a good one. Night, you guys. Take it easy. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. I really enjoyed that. That's awesome. It was pretty awesome. Felt like we made a couple people's days, and that's that's kind of how you have to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. It was awesome. They 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 were shocked. Yeah, but they were like really happy and genuine about it. Yeah. So that was what was cool about it. Fun. It's, it feels good. Like the one on the left was like he was like, confused. What? Was like, why? Why would you do this? Hope you all enjoyed enjoy today's exactly. random hole uh, challenge, giving fifty dollars to a random stranger for the loser. I finished at seven yeah, strokes yeah. total. They both finished at eight. So Matt and Garrett had to go up to a random stranger, hand him a balloon, and hand him $50. Seemed like those guys really enjoyed it. So hope that made their day. Hope y'all enjoyed following along today's challenge. It was a lot of fun shooting and giving away $50 to a random stranger. If you enjoyed it, please drop a little like down below. Subscribe below as well if you haven't already. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. And I'm going to put all the links to Garrett and Matt's socials down below in the description. So check them out. Give them a subscriber sub to them. Follow, something. Yeah, just check them out. That's all down below. Hope you enjoyed it today. We'll see you when we see you.